Hello YouTube. Want to go over my Bedini simple motor. This is the simple motor. There's no charge battery. There's just uh, one 9 volt battery that runs this wheel. And what I'm going to do is go over basically how I set this up. Future videos hopefully expand upon it. Very simple circuit here. As you can see, uh, not too many components. I'll go over each of those here in a minute. Basically, got the wheel, five sets of magnets, ceramic, all north facing out. This is a coil, it's actually a tri filer coil. Um, excuse the not very tidy strapping down of the coil, but um, I'm only using two wires off of this. Third wire is not being used right now, um, and it's all being run by the 9 volt battery. So hang tight and uh, we'll go over how I set this up. Alright, let's go over what we need here. First thing I got are these 100 ohm resistors. Uh, it says 10 ohms there but uh, I found that the 100 ohm worked well. Um, as you see I, I put a pot in there as well but that's really not necessary. Um, here's some diodes, a 1N914, and some transistors. Well, you only need one, but uh, the 2N3055, which is what he has on the schematic here. And that goes right there. Now, I'm not going to go over the wheel too much. I mean, obviously, you can see that it's a scooter wheel. I bought these ceramic magnets at Radio Shack, um, stack two, north facing out. Um, the only reason I put five on there is, as you can see, they line up with it with the spokes on the scooter wheel, so I didn't have to figure out the spacing in between the magnets. So, um, got that, uh, the coil, I'll go over just briefly, like I said before, it was a, it's a tri-filer, gotta get the spacer in the wheel, just right to fit on the axle there, um, it's a tri-filer, um, I'm only using two wires right now. Um, filled with welding rod. You can see this one sticking out and ran out of welding rod. So I just took a uh, coat hanger and put it in there to make sure that everything's in tight. I also used these terminal blocks. Not necessary, but makes it a little bit easier so that I know that this is my trigger wire. This is my this is my run wire. Same thing on the opposite side. One's a start. One's one's the end. And uh, that does make a difference whenever you whenever you do wire this. You want to make sure that <clears throat> um, as a schematic has, you're going to see that there's a begin run and a begin trigger and an end run and an end trigger. And uh, so whenever I terminated these blocks, I made sure that this is all, let's see, these are all the beginning. So uh, this is all the begin down here. So uh, another thing, not necessary, but makes it a little bit easier since soldering isn't my forte, was to buy one of these European strips. And it's basically just, what these do is these open and you put a wire in, you put a screw in, or I'm sorry, you put the wire, you put the, term, uh, the ends of the, uh, resistor or uh, diode or in this case the transistor and uh, all you do is screw them in and it makes it a little bit easier than trying to solder everything together. Now one thing that you want to take into consideration is the transistor and as you can see from the schematic here if there's not too much of a glare 
um, you've got the collector, emitter, and base. And whenever you look at these, uh, you got to be careful. This is situated in such a way that the uh, base is on the left is the left pin here. The collector is the whole outer shell of the of the transistor, and the emitter is the other spoke. So um, you only have. I don't even know what the correct terminology is for it. Uh, you only have two going in here, and basically what it is, I took a wire from uh, the top of the collector and screwed it in to the collector so it has a connection and uh, terminated it here on, on this one over here. So, um, as you can see, there's a couple wires uh, going on the emitter. And what you see on the emitter is you've actually got the negative of the battery going into the emitter you've got the trigger or yeah the trigger wire of the start going into the emitter and you've actually got the uh, one part of the diode going into the emitter so that's basically what we got here we got the diode we've got the uh, negative to the battery and we've got the uh, start of the trigger wire that, that comes out of uh, that terminal block right there. Um, uh, like I said, it's, it's a very, very simple uh, diagram. If anyone wants, wants me to actually build that, um, leave a comment below and let me know and I'll, I'll get that done as well. But what we'll do is put that off to the side we'll get our battery in here hook it up hook that up just make sure don't got any wires crossing or touching and Now I found that the spacing in between the magnets and the and the uh, coil is kind of crucial. Um, if it's too close, obviously it hits, but if it's too far away, it's not going to work. And sometimes it needs a little bit more of a spin to get things moving. Um, I also have a wall wart that I've been working that I've been working with a this is a four and a half volt one and a half amp out that I basically terminated and uh, used that as well to to run the Bedini circuit so it's not just the nine volt battery all the time I wanted to start with the basics though and, and get it working so that uh, I can build out from here so basically start from the beginning and uh, continue to move forward with the other types of configurations so that uh, see if I can get that running um, and build out so the next process will probably be to solder the pieces together and, and uh, get a working model that way then move on to the charging the batteries and uh, and so forth oh I here's my problem don't have it connected gotta get the so looks like it's working now so basically uh, this was, I believe, to be the, the very first uh, Bedini simple motor that he had, he had run with that, that schoolgirl. Um, nothing too fancy, uh, very simple, and 
it works. So, um, and as you can see, I got my $11 digital tachometer here. It's about 8.11 right now, just starting up. Now, whenever this thing gets going, um, it ends up being uh, around 950 RPM, which for a 9-volt battery and a, and a very simple, very simple circuit, not too shabby. Let's see, we're at 8.74 right now. And it should, uh, like I said, it should level out around uh, 950 or so. So, that's my first video. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And like I said, if anyone wants to see an actual build, screwing the, the circuit stuff in, I can do that as well. But uh, don't plan on taking any time to do it if... Uh, no one, no one requests it, and uh, yeah. So, stay classy, YouTube. Thanks for watching.